Hey guys, so I'm back for another discussion on things that are on my mind as far as the Bible and stuff. And um, you guys did encourage me to do these uh, vlogs, um, so that's why I'm doing this one. Um, I am in the bathroom because it's just a better lighting for me. I'm not upstairs in my normal studio <laughs> where I would be filming. And I'm just using my phone, so let's just get right into what I wanted to say. Um... So as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I'm a um, Christian, number one. And the question that I have is about denominations. Do you guys feel like it's necessary to distinguish what denomination or religion you come from? Now, you guys may not know, but I'm a, I'm, I don't want to say I'm an Adventist because, but that's the church that I attend and that's where my membership is held at a seven-day Adventist church. And if you don't know what that is, look it up. It's just we go to church on Saturday, which of course is the Lord's Sabbath. If you, the quick version of how to explain that is if you look at your calendar, the first day of the week is Sunday, the seventh day of the week is Saturday. And God said to rest on the seventh day and to keep the seventh day holy. That is the seventh day of creation. Um, so you can go back in Genesis and read that. And that's just a quick version of that. There are so many other uh, verses that tell you about the Sabbath. Uh, people keep the Sunday, uh, their Sabbath, because of the resurrection. But like God said, you cannot change any of his commandments. And his commandments was to keep the seventh day holy. With that said... That opens up my second discussion. The problem that I have with my church is the fact that they are dwelling on this whole Saturday, Sunday church thing. In the end, I don't think that Jesus is going to determine who's going to heaven or hell based off of a day that people worship. The main thing that um, he's going to be looking for is people who kept the faith throughout and people who kept the commandments and people who, and, and when you have the commandments, um, when you've learned the commandments and you want to keep commandments, you have them in your heart, you no longer need the commandments because you're already doing the commandments, if you know what I mean. It's like, it's like stuff that your mother told you when you were little, don't touch fire because it'll burn you. Now, you know, there's no need to write that on the wall because you already have that instilled in your head. And so if you're a follower of Christ, you know these laws already. And that was the point of the Ten Commandments back then because God, the omnipotent God, the, the, the unformed God, had to figure out a way to talk to man to communicate with man and to let them know that he existed and that he created them. And so he wanted them to know what it means to be holy. And so he created these laws and to go against anything that is evil. And that was the Ten Commandments. Okay. Do I believe that we are still held by the Ten Commandments? Absolutely. Because if you're not, then that means you can turn around and go kill, steal, and dishonor your parents and all this stuff like that. So of course we're still held by the Ten Commandments. To say that we're not would be silly. Now, the problem with my church is they are stuck on this whole thing about Sunday. They believe that um, Sunday is what's going to determine who's going to heaven or hell. They believe that Sunday law is going to be put into place um, to per to persecute all Christians who go on Saturday. And I just don't believe that because of the fact that there are Jews who go to church. See, I used to be, I, I did do the Jewish thing for a little, little while. And um, they keep the Saturday Sabbath as well. And um, I'm not going to say anything bad about uh, the Jewish faith. Because like I said, I was doing Jewish faith as well. But if you say that they're only going to persecute people who are Seventh-day Adventists because we want to go to church on Saturday and they want to make Sunday the new law, then you are you must be uh, including the Jews as well. Because how can you leave them out when they clearly go to church on Saturday? So the whole thing about Adventist and Saturday and Sunday, and it's like the Adventists have a, a thing against, um, I want to say, Catholics. They don't like Catholics. And I think it's ridiculous. There's some very great Catholic people 
yes, the Catholicism is mixed up in a lot of things that the Bible says do not do. And if you are Catholic, then I strongly encourage you to crack open the Bible and just begin to read on your own and compare it to the things that you do now and just see what comes to you and pray to God to, to you know, to help you with that. I don't believe any longer that denominations matter because back in the day there was no uh denominations um when the catholics was the first christians and when they started this whole christianity thing um a christian is just a person who believes in christ that's it that's why it's called christ christ christians christians that's all it is and anybody can be a christian but the thing is anybody can't get into heaven and that's true so if you're smoking drinking clubbing fornicating committing heresy sacrilegious all of that stuff yeah narrow is the gate for you okay you're not going to get in heaven that way but i can't tell someone how they're going to get in heaven or who's going to go to heaven or who's not going to go to heaven and i think that's ridiculous when a church tells someone oh this these people are not going to get in heaven because they believe this and they believe that there are some genuine people who have been led astray all their lives and don't know anything and that doesn't mean they're not going to go to heaven. That's ridiculous. And uh, going to church on a certain day doesn't mean that you don't love God because you go to church on Sunday. What if you didn't know that you, Saturday was the day that was a Sabbath? That mean you're going to hell? That's ridiculous. And so I feel like this. I feel like we should just, everybody should tear down the names and the sect, sect S-E-C-T, of their churches. Meaning Protestant uh, Calvarist or uh, all of that um, Jewish I think everyone who believes well Jewish people don't believe in Christ they just uh, believe in God as one monotheism they do not believe in God um, Jesus or none of that but um, all of us Christians who believe that Christ was here and died for us why don't we tear down the barriers okay why don't we stop claiming denominations all religions are is just a group of people who have separated themselves and said that we know the truth better than that those people know the truth and that's ridiculous the reason why jesus hasn't come back fast enough is because he said that his word has to reach every single nation every nation every person okay and until then he's not gonna come back he's given us time to get it together so my question is why not just tear down the names of the church what does it matter why not unite together as christians christians like they did back then followers of christ they were not they were not and i repeat they were not uh muslim here and uh, uh, uh lutheran there or methodist here i mean that was not so either you were atheist or you were a follower of christ Okay, and then you did have the Jewish people who believed in God, but you didn't have different groups of these Methodists and all these uh, Lutherans and Seventh Day Adventists and Jehovah's Witnesses and whoever. Okay, if you are supposedly a Christian, you are a witness of Christ. Okay, so there is no reason to have all these different church names. All it does is create an unnecessary barrier between all of humanity we are all humans first we're humans first and well actually we're christians first okay but we're humans so all these different religions is absolutely ridiculous to me it's ridiculous that our church will sit up here and talk about catholics the way they do it's ridiculous the catholics are not bothering us okay they're not so prophecy in the revelations fits a whole bunch of people you could say that, hey, it's the Jewish people they're talking about. Because remember when they said Jew, uh, Israel would never be rebuilt and these fake Jews in the temple? We could say that it's, it's talking about Jews. We can say that it's talking about Roman Catholics, who was the little beast power, who rose up and who was once in Daniel and who ruled and blah, 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 blah. Okay. And we could say that it's the presidency or we can say that it's politics that's the beast power. We can say that it's all these different things because it all fits, but it's a secret and you will never know the secret things of the Bible. You can only 
ask God to reveal them to you and he'll reveal what he thinks you need to know. Okay. If it's not on a need to know basis, then it's not on a need to know. What you need to know is that you have to preach all the way around for Jesus is coming. And I believe, and my question to you is, do you believe that we should tear down the barriers of different religions and just be the churches of Jesus Christ? Everybody should unite in the world that are followers of Christ and tear down the barriers of our certain denominations. As always, remember to like and subscribe and comment if you'd like, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.